what have we got here? This is our device under test, in this case, the solar dashboard product. And today we're gonna look at some problems that I have with it and what I'm gonna do to fix it. So this guy was being a bad boy and uh, if the voltage was ramped up slowly, he just wouldn't start. So we added this guy down here, a lunchroom supervisor. This thing will make sure that the voltage is correct and if not, it will send a reset signal. Okay, and we can see that reset signal right here. When this is low, that chip's gonna reset. This is off. At some point, the supervisor says, let's turn on. It turns on, okay, everything's starting up, everything's going well, but all of a sudden, there's a voltage dip. Uh-oh, the supervisor detects the voltage dip, it resets the chip. After a certain amount of time, in this case, a little bit over 200 milliseconds, the supervisor turns the reset high again, which turns on the chip, and then the same thing happens. There's a voltage dip, uh-oh, and the whole cycle continues forever. So that's called a boot loop. So our solution has caused another problem. Let's have another uh, look a little bit closer to see what's going on. We're gonna zoom in. So sometime after the chip starts up, we turn on the SD card. And that's what this signal here is doing. This signal here is saying, let's turn on that SD card. It goes down. This is the power rail here. So you can see we have a small dip, but it's enough for the voltage supervisor to pick up. It says voltage is too low. We're gonna shut down the chip because it could go into an unknown state or lock up so it sets reset low and you can see at the same time this goes back up because the chip is now reset but the power the sd card 3.3 volt power source right here that rises but then goes down again right so how are we going to solve this problem well first i'll show you why this problem is happening and it's sort of a bad design but the challenge is can we fix this problem in software so this is the schematic on how the sd card works so you can see here's the power supply and this goes to some other bulk capacitors and then uh, this is the pnp transistor where this shuts off the power to the sd card so we can reset the sd card uh, power it down power it up when we want so the sd card power signal comes in here and some current will flow through here so when we lower this to, to ground uh, some current will flow through and power the SD card so this is a little decoupling capacitor but this is a bulk capacitor so this is the problem what's happening is as when we turn this on a lot of current is flowing from the bulk capacitors on the 3.3 volt rail is flowing through and charging up this capacitor here and that's causing a dip on the 3.3 volt rail which is causing the resets that we're seeing. So uh, the solution is probably to put another two or three of those he these guys here and then move this guy away or just delete him entirely. I like having the bulk capacitance close to the SD card but it would probably be uh, close enough if we put it just right up here somewhere. So what's the root cause of this problem? The root cause is that this power supply is dipping. Let's measure that to see how much. So you can see it's showing 3.5 volts on the max and uh, 2.4 on the min. You can see that. If we zoom right in, right at the moment of impact, right at the trigger here, and then here, this is 100 nanoseconds later, you could see we have a dip. It goes all the way down to 2.5 volts. So we have a real problem, okay? And this is caused by that capacitor charging up. The bulk capacitor for the SD card is charging up, and that's what's causing this dip right here. And that's a big problem. We don't, we can't have that happen. So how are we gonna fix it? Well, there's a few different solutions. We could add more capacitance to this 3.3 volt uh, rail here. But I tried that, that actually doesn't really help. The reason is this dip is caused by that other capacitor charging up. So we'd have to have a lot of capacitance in here to make a difference. Let's, and also that's a hardware fix. We wanna look for a software fix, ideally, that we can use to mitigate this sort of issue in the future. The hardware fix would be to put the bulk capacitance on the other side of the transistor that turns on the SD card. But uh, of course, you can't change the past. So how are we gonna do it in software? So right here is the problematic code. So over here, we're configuring the pin that's gonna control the transistor to turn the SD card off. Over here, we're turning the SD card off. Don't be confused, high in this case means off and then we wait a little bit just so that the sd card can shut down properly and then right here we're turning that sd card back on but i have a software solution okay here's the solution so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the sd card we're going to wait a little bit and then we are going to turn the sd card off wait a fixed amount of time one millisecond and then we're going to turn it on for a variable amount of time that's going to start at zero and increase slowly so in a sense we're going to have a increasing pulse width that's going to slowly charge up that capacitor and hopefully avoid the problem 
So we're going to download this and see the change. Okay, here we are. The board is now running, so there's not much to see. So we're going to zoom back out. Okay, I've captured the phenomenon right here. We can see that the chip is off. The chip starts. Here's the reset going high. The chip starts. There's no power issues. Then I think this is the pin configuring itself, so it doesn't have any effect on the SD card power. So then the chip goes high again, and then we start to get some on and off pulses. And you can see that that causes a slow ramp of the power here. And let's zoom into that a little bit, and we can see our pulses here. So you can see they're very short, but they're charging up that uh, that power, uh, that capacitor pretty good. Now we could probably optimize this a little bit. The pulses don't get too much longer near the end. I think the pulses could get quite a bit longer faster, and then maybe the whole thing doesn't have to take as long either. So let's optimize that a little bit. We'll see, but it works this way. Okay, I've captured it again, and uh, I'm a lot happier with this one. Let's go to the beginning here. You can see the uh, ramp up. The ramp up is nice and slow. Unknown is what effect this is going to have on the SD card, but uh, hopefully uh, the SD cards have proper uh, voltage supervisor inside. Don't think it'll be that big a deal. You can see the uh, on pulse is now very little. Power supply voltage, it's, uh, it's quite happy. There's no real dip to speak of, so. Okay, I, I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, leave some comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Bye.